It's Friday. Let's get to it. The Friday Crosser, that's right. Usually a challenge, usually some uh, something trivia, usually no theme, but uh, we'll see. Something difficult, maybe some misdirection, maybe some, uh, I don't know, maybe a bunch of white squares and black squares, and we got to write letters in the, in the white squares that make words, or groups of words, phrases. All right, let's do it. We have a puzzle here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Raphael Musa, Michael Lieberman are the constructors. My name is Steve. I am the solver. Let's do this, shall we? Let's solve this puzzle starting now. Whoops, starting now. Okay, furry animals with black tipped tails. Skunks, they have the stripes. I don't know, black tipped. It's mind altering. Could be LSD, but it seems like it's not. It's gonna be something misdirecting there. I don't know. Unresolved, open, like an open case. Dessert, whose main instrument name ingredient is grated. Some sort of a cheese dessert. Um, film set in Mexico and nominated for best picture. How about Coco? Uh, squat is nothing is nada is uh maybe it's not coco uh act badly in a way i don't know is emote um so this is that and this if squat is nada uh, then this is not uh, coco it's not coma for givers and priceless gifts i don't know water aerobics aid i don't know word with going or god good god or good going uh conference site was yalta when they sort of split up uh europe right uh yvonne gulagong uh, i think is how she spelled her name or is it with an e no i think that i think she spelled it with a y uh all right praise her accuracy or suitability is to va, 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 oh to vet to vet something see if it's right all i asked for was that simple thing you had one job um, let's see. Or givers of priceless gifts are organ donors. Yes, those are priceless. Oh, Roma. Um, water aerobics is a pool noodle. That's right. Uh, I did not see Roma. I heard it was good, though. Okay, uh, hearts, uh, I don't know. Dish whose name means stuffed is dolma in Turkish. That, I thought that was Greek, but Turkey, Greeks, they're uh, near each other, so there we go. Star Wars prequel series uh, is, uh, what? Oh, oh, the TV series, like uh, on Disney+. Plus. I, and is it Andor? Seems like it should be Andor. Spanish title would be Senora. Some small dogs are palms, Pomeranians. Hearts are cores. Okay, yes. What is that? Some sort of hoops. Played pickups. Shot hoops. I like that. Uh, a false start. A pseudo. The prefix meaning false. Uh, let's go here. Contest featuring Apollo. I don't know. Uh, the Golden Fleece or something like that. I don't think that's right. Objects pantomimed by extending one's thumb and pinky. Is a phone? No, anymore. A phone is this because this is the shape. Phones are are, are, uh, are no longer cradle shaped. Phones are, are, are rectangle shaped. Come on, old people. Raphael Musa, old person. Uh, no. Um, where business is going downhill fast is a ski slope. Uh, I don't know. Michael Lieberman, you an old person. Do you do this on the phone or do you do this? All right. A uh, month when Kwanzaa starts is December. Honeymoon singer is Lana Del Rey. Oh, so it is LSD. Uh, dessert whose main ingredient, I still don't know. Like tough love, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Admission needs, uh, could be SAT, something like that. I don't know. Dapper pachyderm. Babar is a pachyderm. Is he well-dressed? I think he was well-dressed. Business is going down fast. Sorry something. No, that doesn't look right at all. Um, okay. Corny junk are cobs, right? You throw out the cobs, so they're junk. Causes of some tan lines, uh, swimsuits? I don't know about that. Uh, watches? Or jewelry? I don't know. Uh, systematically indispensable? Oh, I don't know. Uh, like tough love, something ick. This is an ick. Where is this going downhill fast? Oh, ski resort. It was Yvonne Gulagong with an E. I re ah, see, okay. Uh, I should go with my hunches. Something cake. Dessert was meaning, oh, carrot cake. Yeah, I don't like carrot cake, but you do grate the carrot, I guess, because uh, otherwise it probably doesn't bake very well. Like tough love, something onic. Um, is this, uh, okay, Macbeth is a Scot, right? The king of Scotland. Cry while made, a king in Scotland. Cry what made while waving. Ha, ta, ta. Maybe ta ta or something like that. Uh, animal on the Qatar Airlines Airways logo. I don't know. I'm trying to think if it showed up like in the World Cup or something. But I don't know. Throwing ability is your arm. You have a good arm. Systematic, indispensable. I don't know. Causes of some tan lines. I still don't know. Furry animals are stoats uh, with black tipped tails. There we go. Causes of some tan lines. Oh, straps. Yeah. Okay. Um, Adapt. Ad admission needs or TAs. Admission needs. I'm not sure I get that one. Animal in the Qatar Airways logo, Oris? O o 
Like tough love is oxymoronic because it's love, I love you, but it's tough. Okay, so this is uh, taxi. Uh, again, old people get taxis. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is generationally looking very old. Uh, no, taxis are still a thing. I saw one just the other day. Admission needs formally are ticks. You need tickets to get in, and oryx is uh, is an animal, so that works. Okay, too too big to fail. Ah, that's uh, that's coming from like the 2008 uh, uh, whatever a banking system meltdown. So that's a little bit younger. Prominent future of man race painting. Observatory time. The lovers. Would they be lips? I don't know that one, but I'm going to look that one up. Subject of some modern bands. Um, I don't know. Up in the air, a float, a loft. That fits. Kind of diet. Paleo. That fits. Uh, okay, I'm done complaining. Rant over. End of rant. There we go. Um, por favor. Uh, contest featuring Apollo. Oh, the space race. The Apollo program. Not Apollo, the god of the sun. Uh, undoubtedly, uh, yeah. Sure. Plays it cool. I don't know. Uh, Irish novelist on Bloomsday is a James Joyce. Uh, James Joyce, there we go. Uh, tub Top. What? Tub Top. The water, the surface, I don't know. Uh, upcycle is to reuse. You could also reduce or recycle. Bear necessities are, uh, are dens. That's where the bear lives. Sky Courier is, a, it sounds like it's an airplane made by Cessna. Club collection are dues. Plays it cool. Acts, acts normal. Yeah, dude, play it cool. Act normal. Playing hooky is absent from school. A shoulder muscle is your delt. Uh, tub top, I don't know, but ep eponymous sound is Lyme. Ep ep eponymous? Ep eponymous? Eponymous. They named Lyme disease after it. Um, expression of confidence is uh, is I can, and tub top is a lid. Oh, like a tub of marcher and not like a tub that you take a, a, a bath in. Okay, uh, a bathtub. Stand up during a presentation. Oh, not it's not the verb to stand up. It is a stand that is up during a presentation. It is the easel. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. Beer whose ads are the sinister penguin. Is it Bud Ice? Uh, it fits, it's a beer. I don't remember those ads. One can impose unity out of the blue on a country that has 265 different kinds of cheese. Sounds like it's about France. Uh, the RNC has a red elephant, yes, Republican National Committee. Urgent hyperbolic is life or death. Uh, hypothesized type of nuclear reactions. Cold fusion science! Wouldn't it be great if they could make it work? Count Basie is in jazz. That's not not Count 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, it's Count Basie, the uh, the pianist extraordinaire. Tombstone name is Wyatt Earp. Those all look right. We'll go over them later. Uh, is this e-cigs? Yeah, no one says e-cigs. Old people, talking about young people, say e-cigs. Flair is Elon. What do we have over here? Undoubtedly, yep. Uh, Jay Gatsby is his name. Uh, and EMTs, oh yes! Boo -doo 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 -doo. Seven, eleven, wow! That's pretty cool, that's pretty fast. Uh, Roland, uh, I skipped uh, the crossings here because I got them all. So Lady Pen is the founder of Cambodia's capital. I mean, it's called Phnom Penh. Uh, I think maybe you don't pronounce the F, so maybe it's Phnom Penh, but I mean, I would recognize that as the second word. I did not know it was named after a person who was a lady. Um, Okay, uh, is that like that's not her name? She's like the like the lord and the lady of a place. Is is that how it works? I'm not sure how how um, Cambodian um, um, not royalty. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, nobility. I'm not sure how that works, but maybe I'll look it up. Uh, laugh and a half is a riot. Largest in a septet. Ooh, clever! A septet. There are seven continents, and so the largest one is Asia. Uh, so that's a good one. All right. So no no. Uh, no themes, but lots of big answers. Lots of, uh, we had too big to fail, life or death, cold fusion. You had one job. Uh, organ donors, pool noodle. There's a lot of stuff. James Joyce stacked on top of acts normal, which is a wonderful sentence. James Joyce acts normal. Um, and carrot cake. I think actually carrot cake is a little bit oxymoronic, come to think of it, because carrots, no, that's not cake. Carrots are good for you. They're vegetables. Right, they they, uh, they they have vitamin A. Cake is bad for you. Cake is like empty calories. Uh, so carrot cake, I think, is a little bit oxymoronic. I know that's not how it works. Um, I, I never see. I think the thing about carrot cake I don't like is the icing. Is that it's so sweet. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that's that's my my thought about it. All right, I want to look a couple things up because it's cool. I want to look up Babar. I guess he's always wearing that crown. I guess he wears a suit or something like that. So that would make him a dapper pachyderm. Um, we'll look that up. I want to look up, oh, where was it? The lips. Oh, right here. Uh, man raised feet painting, observatory time, the lovers. So I don't know that. 
I am not anywhere close to an art expert, but why not? We can look it up. So Man Ray uh, painting, photo art, the literature, what was it? The Lovers, The Lovers. Apparently, Man Ray, The Lovers' lips shows up. Uh, Man Ray, The Lovers. Oh, those are lips. Yes. Those are most certainly lips. Okay. <laughs> oh, observatory time, The Lovers. There we go. Um, Dada, surrealism. Oh, it's not just lips. There's just giant lips in this, what appears to be the sky. So wait, was it black and white or was it, uh, oh my, wiki art. Uh, observatory time is featured in this black and white photograph along with the nude. Wait, oh, the photo, the artwork is here. The painting is here. Oh, this is observatory time, the lovers, not just observatory time. Ah, okay. And there's a, is that a chessboard? Looks like a chessboard, yeah. Observatory Time, The Lovers. It includes his painting, Observatory Time, and a nude. So that's singular, but it's the lovers, plural. Ah, but these are the lips of the departed lover, Lee Miller. Uh, I don't mean to criticize Lee Miller, but your lips are very, very long and not very tall. They, they appear to me to be elongated. Uh, I'm not one to uh, to to judge. Uh, I'm just saying the aspect ratio looks a little bit. All right, enough of that nonsense. Uh, so that was observatory time. The lovers. So the lovers is just this observatory time. The lovers, or as it will become more familiarly known, the lips. Oh, manray.net. Wow, this is the the manray official um, official web page. And there it is, wow, right at the, there it is, Observatory Time, The Lovers, quick image, or has been more familiarly known, The Lips, the quintessential surrealist painting, a supreme example of isomorphism. Wow, all right. Realistic illusionism, the unifying theme in mainstream surrealist art in the heyday of the 1930s. Eight feet long and over three feet high, those are large lips, two years of meticulous daily work to get it right. Okay, I'm impressed. That's 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 really something. Okay, I'm glad I looked at that. Wow. Uh, the other one. I want, oh yeah, Babar. I just want to see a picture of Babar. Um, apparently, I looked up. Uh, there we go. Babar, the elephant. Um, yeah, I guess you're you're dressed like a king. So I guess I guess you could call that dapper. Um, yeah, go with that. Images. You wear anything else to wear that? You like that green suit, that green regal suit. That's your that's your thing. Oh, we got a, a blue regal suit in this one. Yeah, that's dapper. We got the you got the loafers there, looking very classy. Looking very, ah, that's dapper. That's a that's a well dressed elephant. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was the other one I wanted to look up? It was not cold fusion, not France. I love that quote. You can't impose unity out of the blue on a country that has 265 different kinds of cheese. Um, I thought there was one more that I wanted to look up. If I don't find it, then I'm not going to look it up. But what was it? It sounded kind of cool. Oh, it was Lady Pen. Not to be confused with any other ladies uh, or any other pens. Uh, but Lady Pen, here yeah, we're going to look you up. Uh, lady, lady, I knew Lady Gaga would be the number one lady. I knew it. Uh, Lady Antebellum is number two. They're not even called Lady Antebellum anymore. They're Lady A. Lady Bird Johnson. All right, Lady... Oh, Lady Penn did not make the top ten Lady P's. You did not make the top ten Lady P.E.'s. Oh, my goodness, you didn't make the top ten Lady P.E.N.'s. Oh, man. There we go, Lady Penn. Let's find Lady Penn. It is a pagoda. A Wat Nam. The pagoda is named after Lady Pen from the story of the discovery of five statues, four Buddhas and one Vishnu. Huh. I wouldn't, I did not realize that Hinduism uh, shows up in uh, in Cambodia. But why not? Um, here we go. Pen, commonly referred to as Dawn Pen, I'm guessing. I don't read Khmer. Uh, meaning grandmother pen or old lady pen or lady pen, wealthy woman who is credited as having founded Nam Pen, the capital of Cambodia, and her statue is near Wat Nam. Okay, 
That's pretty cool. What's the story of, of the founding? There's the statue. Let's take a look at you. Can't see you very well. Can't see you very well. Still can't see you very well. Even up close to the lighting, you're silhouetted, Lady Pen. But you uh, you are there. You have a law uh, uh, a sash. What do you call that thing? Yeah, it's a sash and a and a, a necklace with something on it. All right, and and we're gonna look up the story of the founding of the city of Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Okay, so so it's pronounced Phnom Penh. I knew it was something like that. All right. Um, it's capital, most populous city, national capital since the French protectorate. Succeeded Pearl of Asia, and it's got some Art Deco works. You know that looks a lot like oh the Chrysler Building in New York City. Um, but that's I thought that may be. Oh wow, there's the skyline. Yeah, it looks like uh, Western City. Okay, but we're gonna look up the the. Uh, the history of it. Uh, here we go. The, the etymology, Penn's Hill. Takes its name from the present Hill Temple. There's a hill. The nom is hill. And Penn, a wealthy widow named Penn, found a cookie tree floating down the river. After a storm, inside the tree were five statues, four Buddhas and a Vishnu. She ordered the villagers to raise the height of the hill. Build that hill! Northeast of her house, and she used the wood to build a temple on the hill. And a shrine for Vishnu slightly lower down. So Buddha gets to be up high and Vishnu is a little bit lower. All right. And that temple became known as Wat Phnom Don Pen. The temple on the hill of Lady Pen, which is now known as the temple on the hill. A small hill. 27 meters in height. Okay. And that's the story. Cool. All right. Um, so that I think that's the end of our video today and Yvonne Gulagong spelled it with an E somehow I remember that from when I first started watching sports um, and she was like in the twilight of her career and Martina Navratilova and Chris Everett they were the they were the tops but uh, Gulagong she showed up at some point and she's had a cool name so that's why I remember her um, Yvonne Gulagong yes um, and that was when Ilya Nastasi was a crossroaders favorite uh, favorite uh, tennis player on the men's side uh, but he was being overtaken by a McEnroe and Bjorn Borg and Jimmy Connors. And, oh, good times, good times. All right, enough about me reminiscing about tennis of the late 70s and early 80s. It's time to say goodbye and say thank you for watching and say I hope to see you again in the future because this is a lot of fun for me. And I'm guessing if you're still here, this is a lot of fun for you too. But I've been blah, blah, blahing for quite some time and it's time to go. And so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to say farewell. I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.